Tech, and I'm back once again with Monfort K40. Friends, today we're going to cut some acrylic, so let's get cracking. All right, so let's first start with the material. This is a acrylic. You can see it's clear and it's frosted. I'm going to try it with the frosted side up. We're going to quickly measure it. As you can see, it's about four millimeters, so I'm just going to work with this on the bed of the K40. Friends, if you've never seen it before, this is the K40 from Monport. It is a 40 watt CO2 laser. Alrighty, everybody. So we are going to make a design in Lightburn. It is my favorite tool. You can see I've got it set to the Monport. If we look here, you can see the entire area we could build in. I'm going to build up in this corner. I'm going to bring out my text. I'm going to make a keychain that says HL Mod Tech. Little OD and then a TECH. I'm gonna bring this over into this area right here. If you look at all your font choices, find something you think is awesome. I'm gonna do Roboto Slab Black. I want this to be about seven centimeters. So you can see right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna shrink it down a little, and then I like to do about 20 or 25 for the actual size of the keychain. So I'm gonna make this under 20. I want to draw a circle for the hole that is five by five. Notice you can just drag to get it to the measurements you want. If you miss, like I got six by six, I'm just going to type the measurements up in the box. There's my five and my five. So that's how large I want it to be. I want it to be right in the middle. So let's select them both. Remember, if you go from the right to the left, all you have to do is touch them. If you go from the left to the right, you have to be completely around them. I'm going to align them with horizontal center, just like that. I'm going to nudge this in. I'm going to do control nudge so it does micro nudges. I think that's going to be pretty darn nifty. And then friends, this is one of my favorites. With them both selected, tools, offset shapes. I'm going to go with a three millimeter offset and tell it OK. And we have got our awesome keychain shape. How cool is that? All right, friends, so with the design created, let's check our cuts and layers. Friends, we are gonna set this to 250, 100% power, and I'm gonna tell you I wanna do two passes. I was trying this with one pass, and it just didn't work. For the letters, I'm gonna do a fill, 800 speed, and 40 power. And friends, let's see what we create. All right, friends, so this is the first attempt. Uh, I've got it at 60x speed, so it took more than 25 minutes. You're going to see in about 30 seconds. We were cutting at 400 speed, 100% power, and trying to get through, and it did not get all the way through. Also, I'm learning that my two-color plexiglass is a little bit different than I expected. All right, friends, so when I peeled back, I was able to pop that part out. So that turned out all right, but I was wrong about how this frosted white would work. So doing it backwards so I could see through there was absolutely useless. So friends, it's time to move to plan B. Friends, here we are with attempt three. As you can see, I have turned it the other direction because I found it fit this way just as well. This is the one where we were doing the two passes. And as you can see, that cut out pretty darn awesome. And now it's just time to peel off all that tape. Alrighty friends, so there is our final keychain. It did cut out exactly like I want. Now friends, I do want you to know my acrylic is unique. I have got two layers of acrylic here. There's a white and a clear. This was donated to me and what I'm really trying to tell you is whatever acrylic you have or whatever material, you're going to really have to find your own settings. And once again, make sure you stay with your laser so you're watching for those flame ups. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a really fun acrylic keychain with the Monport 40 watt laser. Once again, we learned how to quickly make a keychain in Lightburn, and then as we sent it to the laser, we learned how to adjust our settings so that we could get the results we finally wanted. Of course, friends, if you are looking for this laser, there will be details in the description. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.